Okay, hey guys, so I'm going to be making a video on how to make gifts or gifs, however you want to pronounce it. I actually say gifts, you call me weird or whatever, but that's how I pronounce it. So, um, this is a tutorial on how to make gifts for Tumblr, uh, but it's going to be with Adobe Photoshop. So, if you don't have Adobe Photoshop, look it up and get it a free trial or like me I found a torrent and I look for stuff okay um so you open up Adobe Photoshop I have CS5 but I think all the versions have what I'm going to use so it's pretty pretty good so you open it up and mine's already open so yeah uh, first of all let me erase this okay so it's probably gonna come up like this uh, if you want to make a gif you have to go to window and you have to click animation so this little thing will come here trust me this is very helpful for when you make a gif let me just put it down there okay so then you have to look for a video that you want to download um you can download them from youtube and i'll give you links to stuff that will help you download stuff from youtube like videos from youtube <laughs> So, then you go to when you have your video. For mine, I don't know why, but um, the video that I can only use, the video type that I can only use for Photoshop, for my Photoshop at least, um, it can only be MOV. Um, although I ha I've heard that some people can use other sorts, but for mine, it can only take MOV. So, yeah. So, you go to File import video frames to layers and then you look for the video whichever video really and I'm gonna use Tom Hiddleston because he's just too adorable for words <laughs> so you open it and it this little thing's gonna come up um, you have to put you have to click limit to every two lay two frames so you click that you don't change the two just leave the two there and leave this as it is and then down here it's going to say um, hold down the shift key while moving the slider or clicking the arrows so basically what you need to do is move this little thingy over here right and while clicking shift so it highlights what you want to use as um, like your gif so what I'm going to use is his little smile over here because I already did this um, right there so I highlighted you can see that it's darker than the background so that's good and then when you you have to play it can you do an impression of Joey have you got that down oh, yeah here we go um... there we go okay um just play it to see if it's actually the part that you want to gif and if, if it's not just redo it and it's all good so then you put okay and it's gonna be making it since this is like a high quality video it's it's gonna take long. Okay, it didn't take long, but whatever. So here are your your frames, right? Frames are what's needed in a GIF, and these are your layers. Um, for Tumblr, um, it can't be a big file. I'm not sure how big it can be, but it can't be really big. So I think like it, after you pass 50 frames, it's gonna be too big for Tumblr. So you need to like shorten it a little bit. I think I'm just gonna leave it there so then I highlight it all by clicking the first layer and then going to the last layer while holding shift and then I just drag it to the trash and then it only has 31 frames now um, and the same with here you don't have to erase the, the layers but I like to do it because I'm very neat so you just do the same thing first I mean last layer to the first layer while holding shift it has to be holding shift and that is pretty much it so then you have to crop it um, you can either do long one or you can do as you've seen a lot on tumblr where they're like sort of biggish but smallish sort of 
so then you just click the crop tool and then you crop it as whatever you can crop it like this only his eyes or you can crop it like I am doing like so cropping it like that and then you put crop and it's gonna crop and that's pretty much it and then because uh, this is too big because this is only 50% so I put it in 100%, that's way too big for Tumblr. So you go to image, image size, and the width, like for a photo photo set, is 245, I believe. So for the width, you just put 245, and the height's going to automatically get with that, and this is pretty much it. And this is a GIF, see? A GIF of him smiling. So then you highlight it again as you did before and then you go to this little drop down menu every frame has it but since it's all highlighted whatever you do to one happens to all of them so you do that and you put you put whatever I used to put point two point two seconds I believe but now I don't do that I put other and then I write the second instead of one twelve so it's not too fast but not too slow either then you play it to see if it's good and it's pretty good um, so then you can just leave it like this but um, it's not very popping and stuff so what I do is I usually get a PSD a PSD is what is I I'm not very good at Photoshop but I think it's what you use to color either pictures or GIFs um, I usually download them from Tumblr or DeviantArt. Just look up PSD on either and it'll give you a lot of nice ones. Just download the ones that are nice. I made a whole folder of them called PSDs, of course. Um, the one I've really gotten used to is, I think, this one. So I just slide it over here to make it easier. And then I get this and drag it over there. It might seem too bright, but it's it's good because what we're gonna do is you have to select the first layer and the second layer. I mean, not, not the first layer for the frames and the first layer for the layers. And then you go to filter, and then you go to sharpen, sharpen. And it sharpens the image, which makes it look a bit cleaner if you compare it. You might not be able to see, but yeah, if you compare it. So, then you have to click the second one with the second one and do the same thing. And over here, there's a little thing that makes it easier for me just using my keyboard. So, I'm just going to do that for everyone. But I'm not going to do all of them right now. Um, or maybe I will. Just really, really fast, I guess. Um, I mean, I I didn't do this because people have been asking me how I do gifts. Because why would they ask me? Because I do horrible gifts. But um, like, I really want to help people out. I mean, when I was a noob for Photoshop, um, I didn't know what the hell I was doing so I used to like have to go around and see like a bunch of tutorials on how to make gifts out of YouTube videos or gifts out of anything really and like I want to help everyone out so yeah I'm very like that so then there you go that's the gif of Tom Hiddleston he's just too gorgeous I already did that. <laughs> okay, so that's basically it. You can add text as well. I'm just gonna do it really, really fast. Um, sorry, my computer doesn't know how to put freaking text. It's taking a long time. Oh, he has an eye. Of oh, okay. Um, right. So then you go over the coloring because that's the coloring, as you can see. It's all the coloring that puts it. Because if you turn it off, see, it goes back to the. Ugh. So I just put it out. So then you click on this. And it can be whatever font, really. Um, I did Baskerville like a few days ago. 
but I think what I'm gonna use right now is uh, Aerial Rounded Empty Bold because that's what I usually use. So I'm just gonna type Tom Hiddles Ton just like that. Alright. So okay. So then like it's gonna have overlapping and you don't want that. So what I found out to do is you double click and it has to be with the first layer. And then with the second layer, and it just the same way you did with cropping. I mean, not with cropping, with uh, with the um, sharpening. So then this little thing will come up, and it's gonna say stroke, and at the bottom, just put stroke, and then just put the size to one pixel, the position to outside, the blend mode normal, the opacity a hundred, and the color has to be black. And once you've done that, just put, put make default so you, ha you don't have to do that every time. And then you see it has little black lines outside of the white so it doesn't look like it's going into the picture. So you can compare, see? It looks way better. And you have to do that for everyone. So that, that can be a hassle, but yeah. So um, that's how you make a GIF and then you go to File. And you go to save for web and devices. It has to be for save for web and devices. It can't just be save as. It has to be that. I think, yep, yeah, it's too big. But this was a doodle. I'm not actually going to post it on Tumblr. So, um, You put for present unnamed GIF. Put it as GIF. Um, I usually leave it in perceptual. Um, and the color, I usually leave it there. To, and the view, I have to put diffusion there. Some people say to use pattern, but I don't change that a lot. Dither, I just put 100%. Transparent, transparency, I've checked that. And then basically all this stuff, I think they do it already. But if they're not, just click whatever you see is different and just change it to the way I have it. Um, or you can do your own thing, you know, don't worry. Um, and if you want to see how it looks on when you post it on the internet, just put preview and it's going to show you there that it looks pretty good it gives you a bunch of information um, like the size of it the format the dimension um, and yeah so that's how it looks if you post it up on tumblr and yeah so then you put save and then you save it on your computer, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys um, found, found out how to um, make a GIF. I hope you learned. <laughs> um, okay, I'll just go now. Bye.